My name is Tanya Talaga. I'm the author of Seven Fallen Feathers. Seven Fallen Feathers is a book about the death of seven Indigenous students from 2000 to 2011. Each of the students had left their home communities 400, 500, 600 kilometers away. Um, they all lived in Northern Ontario, First Nations, and they came to Thunder Bay to go to high school. I always knew that I would uh, write this as a book from the time that I first was in Thunder Bay writing about the seven students. I actually didn't go to Thunder Bay to write about the seven students. It was in 2011 and I had pitched a story to my editors at the Toronto Star to do a piece on why it is Indigenous people were not voting in the federal election and in historic federal elections. I knew the reasons why that was, but uh, my editor saw it was a great idea, a good story, so I flew to Thunder Bay to interview the Grand Chief of Anishinaabe Aski Nation. And it was during my interview with the Grand Chief, who at the time was Stan Berdy, that he told me about the seven students. And when he told me the story of the seven, I began to write newspaper articles, but I always knew that there was more to the story that I could fit in a succession of features or newspaper articles. I always knew that I would come back and do a broader look at what was going on and what it was that I was seeing in Thunder Bay. How the book ended up at Anansi is a good story. It was actually through a friend of mine, Michelle Shepard. She's one of my best friends and she was out for lunch with Janie Yoon, who is the person who's in charge of, she's the editor in charge of nonfiction. And um, she was having lunch with Michelle and she was telling Michelle that they were looking for more Indigenous stories. And Michelle's like, well, you have to talk to my friend Tanya. And so she is the one that arranged for me to talk to Janie. She said, you know, you guys, you have to go out for lunch together. You have to meet. I think you guys are going to like each other. And Michelle was right. Uh, Janie and I met and we hit it off. Um, I respected her from day one. She's so bright and she just, she asks all the right questions. And we, we gelled when we met. And that's how I came to Anansi. The cover of the book is really quite important and really special. The cover of the book is a painting called Seven Fallen Feathers and it's by Christian Morisot. And Christian is the father of Kyle Morisot and Kyle passed away. He's, uh, he's one of the seven fallen feathers that I write about in the book. So I, I had been speaking to Christian for quite a while as I wrote this and at the end of the inquest into the seven students' deaths, um, Christian, he put together this painting. He thought that at the end of the inquest, which finished at end of June 2016, he thought that he would be feel good and he would feel like a sense of, of a weight had lifted off his shoulders, but he didn't feel that way at all. There, wa there, was, no, um, there was no solace at the end of the inquest. So he sat down and he painted this incredible painting called Seven Fallen Feathers. And the painting depicts all seven students on their journey into the afterlife. And the title of the book, Seven Fallen Feathers, means a lot as well because that's what he called his painting. And Christian gave us this to use for the book. And I'm very grateful. I'm really, really touched by the critical acclaim that the book has seemed to garner I'm really um, surprised about the take up. Uh, we didn't really know how Canada was going to respond uh, when this book came out. What I'm most grateful for though is the, the message of the book is, is getting across to uh, all people in this country. And I'm most grateful too for the, um, everyone in the Indigenous community in, in my communities in Northern Ontario for picking the book up and carrying it forward and supporting the book because this book is um, it's a result of many voices and I, I think that many hands helped me write this book and it makes me feel really good that 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 message is getting across and people are understanding that this is a book about seven kids who are loved by their families and by their communities and that it's going, it's keeping going. My name is Tanya Talaga. I'm the author of Seven Fallen Feathers.